everybody, how are you doing? And welcome to my life in London part three. I'm here today with Gert, hello. And we are in Canary Wharf. We've just walked here and today I'm gonna to show you what Canary Wharf looks like these days. We're gonna get some coffee, some takeaway food and maybe take some pictures. Let's go. have decided to go to a place which is I think open for takeaway which is called Ole and Steen. Ole and Steen. Yeah. Ole and Steen uh, which is I think Danish. Danish right? coffee shop pastries. Incredible. <laughs> I've never been and going like how have you never been? So let me see what I can show you of it during these times. Let's go. come to the roof garden here in Canary Wharf to eat our little pastry and drink our coffee and I have just noticed that there is a new installation here which I have not shown you before. Some of you might have watched the video when Anya and I went to Canary Wharf and I showed you connected by light. I miss this installation and it's maybe one of the coolest. I obviously don't know what it looks like at night but I'll show you a little bit of what it looks like during the day and then maybe you can come here during the night if you want during your daily walk. So I think where I am now is the beginning. So you've got a card here that says removal of the heads this way and then you basically walk along here. And I have just seen it is Alice in Wonderland theme. So maybe it's really, really fun. I don't know, I can't come here at night because it's really far for us to walk here. But yeah, nice to have shown you. And now I'm gonna find Gert again and eat my pastry. Yeah, it's very good, I have to say. Good coffee at Ole and Steen or Steen. <laughs> okay, so we are now on our way to Lidl. <laughs> German Girls at Lidl, part one coming soon. Whilst we're walking there, I'm going to show you what happened yesterday. I have just shot today's uh, travel from home picture and I have gone <laughs> to the mountains for it, to Austria to be exact. Behind me here I've still got my schnitzer which is actually vegan. <laughs> my dream is that one day I will take you on a snowboarding or skiing holiday vlog, one of my dream vlogs to make ever for you guys. So now I'm gonna somehow have to take this makeup off and I've got a little unboxing to do as well which I'm gonna show you after. Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to my little unboxing corner. I promise you an unboxing, you shall have an epic unboxing. I have already opened it because I was very excited, but it is what I was hoping it would be. So this is the new Sony ZV-1, which is a vlogging camera, which is really good for you guys and for me, and it's meant to be pretty epic. So a lot of the content that you'll probably see in this video or next video, I will let you know when I'm filming on the Sony, will be on this. Um, so I have two vlogging cameras. I have the one that you see now, which is a Canon M50 with an 11 to 22 millimeter lens because it's really wide angle basically, which I need for normal travel content. <laughs> and uh, then I have always a small compact camera for night shots and for close-ups and just for general quick handling because this one's a bit bigger. I'm currently using a G7X Mark III and if you know anything about cameras, that one is not very good, yeah? And now I'm gonna do my taxes, which is really exciting and I'm gonna show you nothing of it. <laughs> I'll maybe show you a little overview later of our takeaway night because it is Friday and if I don't, then I'm now switching back to Saturday. Guys, I promise you little, but the queue that we are just approaching Massive. is Methusev. So uh, we're gonna check out the queue and then maybe we'll change our plans. <laughs> the answer is no. So the entrance to Lidl is over there and the queue is all the way down here, all the way down here and then also around the corner. So we said no, we're gonna go to Tesco across the road. <sighs> Hello everybody, welcome from, welcome, welcome to my living room. It's now the evening and I have just been editing a bit of what you've been watching. <laughs> so I've got my laptop there and I have to say, I really enjoy it. I hope you do too. I wanted to show you two things. First of all, I have a new little uh, addition to my work from home setup, which is here. Actually, let me build it. Hang on. Way. 
So basically, it's like a, a, a pa paravel, pa paravent or something like that, essentially, which I have for when I want to do workouts, work out or really concentrate in a meeting. And I really love it because <laughs> actually I'll show you. Basically, there you go. It almost um, blocks out the whole door, which, you know, I'm not going to use all the time because otherwise if I do that, my flatmates can't use the living room. <laughs> I'm about to watch RuPaul's Drag Race. I'll see you afterwards. Basically, what I'm going to do I'm gonna watch this episode and then I'm gonna show you my Korean skincare routine because I know a lot of you have asked for it on Instagram and whilst we do the skincare I will talk about this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race so yeah <laughs> see you after okay everybody welcome to my bathroom and welcome to my Korean skincare routine and RuPaul chats if you don't like Korean skincare or skincare in general and also if you don't like RuPaul you can probably skip the next two minutes of the video because we're gonna get real right so where do I start? I'll show you first the first product that I use, which is this one. So this is a pore cleansing oil by a brand called Hand Skin, Hand Skin. And the way you use it is literally you just kind of like use one or two pumps on dry skin. So I have makeup on now and then you massage it in, which is really, really lovely. And it smells nice and citrusy. So this is step one. And whilst I massage this in, I must say, so I watched episode three today of RuPaul's Drag Race US. The theme on the runway was tracks, train, uh, train tracks, trains of dresses. And I thought it was great. I thought the quality was really, really high. And a lot of the queens, I think, absolutely nailed it. And Simone won the challenge. Sorry, <laughs> that was probably a spoiler for some of you. And I have to say, Simone is obviously winning um, at the moment, but she's also definitely one of my favorites. I also really like Rosé. So comment below, let me know who your favorites are. Um, hang on, I'm just gonna wash this off. Step two is a, so that was an oil cleanser. Step two is a foam cleanser. And this is the one I use. It's called uh, Salicylic Acid Daily Gentle Cleanser by a brand which is called Cos Cosrx. Now I really have to dry my face. Um, so I'm also using a special face towel, by the way, that I don't use for anything else other than my face, which I was told um, is supposed to be really important as well. So this is the toner I use. It's uh, also called Oso oh Fresh by a brand called Cyrus, and I really love it. And I also have some reusable cotton pads here. Uh, so they're not cotton, they're like fabric pads. Um, and yeah, that's really it. So I put some toner on it and then you just kind of put it on your face. And now step number four. So it's a lot. Um, this is an all day brightening and balancing serum by a brand called Yumisu, Yumiso. And then I just kind of pat this and hope for the best. <laughs> Uh, we can talk about RuPaul's Drag Race again. Uh, after this, I'm gonna watch UK Drag Race, episode two. No favorites yet, let me know if you have any. And who's your favorite drag queen of all time? Let me know below. My name is Sasha Velour. We've only got two more. I've got moisturizer to lock in all the beautiful essence and oils that I've put in so far, and eye cream. Moisturizer, this is the one I'm using. It's an oil-free moisturizer, again, by Cosrux, Cosrux. And finally, I've got my little eye cream here by a brand called Hamish. So I've been using Korean skincare for about two months now, and you guys wouldn't see this, but and probably nobody else sees this, but I see it, and for me, it has really helped. All the products that I have used are from a website called Beauty and Soul, and I've linked it below. Um, no sponsored nothing, no affiliate links whatsoever. I just genuinely love it and believe in it. And uh, once you've done all your skin cleansing, you eat some ice cream, okay? Oh, optionary, option is an option. It's not It's not obligatory, basically. But Gertrude and I are gonna have some haagen now and I'm gonna watch RuPaul's Drag Race UK. Probably the end of today. I will see you again tomorrow. It's a miracle. <laughs> a miracle has happened. And it's snowing in London and I'm so, so excited. Look at this, guys. <laughs> This normally never happens in London. I was so hoping that for this vlog I could show you. I honestly don't know what to say. I just want to enjoy it. Look, it's actually staying on me. 
Oh my god, I'm going to show you a little bit more. I mean, it might not stick and it might not come across that much, but for me, oh, I just want to take a deep breath and, you know, it makes you kind of feel like everything's going to be okay. All right, guys, so I'm not alone anymore. Look who's here <laughs> under the biggest hood you've ever seen. <laughs> So we're now in like a local park forest area and it's snowing a little bit more here and there's lots of cute dogs and maybe this is the most exciting thing that happened in the last 12 months in London. Possibly, yeah. <laughs>